Hi guys, in this video we're going to take a look at examples of finding average rates of change, so let's just get right into it. So I've got three problems here where we're going to calculate the average rate of change over the given interval. So you can see the three problems, if there's a specific one that you want to see, you can fast forward to it, or you could always use this as a way to quiz yourself and then you've got all the solutions right here, so make this video work for you. So let's jump into the first one. So I want to find the average rate of change of this function over this interval. So this is effectively asking me to calculate the slope of this secant line. And so here's where I start and here's where I stop. So I need to actually know the functional values of these two things. So I'm actually going to be using really more or less the slope formula to do this. So here's kind of the setup and this is, it, it's actually a very straightforward problem. So you're going to plug in three into the function minus f of zero of the function over three minus zero. So it really is just the slope formula. So if I do this, then this will be, let's see, three squared plus three times three minus, so this next part will be zero squared plus three times zero. I probably don't even need to really write that out. And then in the bottom, this is all just three. So this becomes nine plus nine divided by three. So 18 divided by three is six. And so that would be the average rate of change then. So that would also be the slope of the secant line from zero to three if you were to graph that out. Okay, so moving on to the next one. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing. So I'll take f of pi minus f of pi over two. So these are the two ends of my interval here. And then I'll basically just take pi minus pi over two. Okay, so now I can plug all this in. So I have two plus sine of pi minus two plus sine of pi over two, all of this over, so this will just be pi over two, so I'll write it out like that. And so then let's see, as I work through this, so the, the twos are gonna drop out, and then sine of pi is actually equal to zero, and then sine of pi over two is equal to one, and then this is still negative pi over two, so I get negative one over pi over two. So now I can flip this pi over two so that this ultimately equals negative two over pi. And so that would be my average rate of change in this case. And now working with the last example, so again using that same formula, so I'll take f of two minus f of zero over two minus zero. So now I'll go ahead and plug all that in. So I have four times two plus one minus the square root of four times zero plus one, all of this over two. So this comes out to the square root of nine minus the square root of one, all of this over two. So this will ultimately be three minus one over two. That gives me two over two. So all of this will ultimately equal one. So that would be my average rate of change in this case. So it's a pretty straightforward formula. Like I said, um, it, it, it's really just the um, same as calculating kind of a slope, except now you've got to plug the values into your function, but pretty straightforward. So that's it for this video. So if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. Otherwise, hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.